In this video, we are unveiling 10 jaw-dropping grid layouts that you can whip up using Divi 5's nested rows. And guess what? They are all yours to download for free. Check out the link in the video description below to get started. So whether you are designing a sleek portfolio, a full e-commerce store, or a polished corporate website, these grid layouts will elevate your game. And I'm going to walk you through how Divi 5's shiny new feature like nested rows make grid magic happen. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in and transform your design into something extraordinary. Now, of course, we cannot cover all the 10 in one single video. So I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. There you will find all the examples of grid layouts that you can design. Along with that, you can also download all all these layouts in form of JSON file that you can import in your Divi library. Alright, so here we are inside our Divi 5 visual builder. And this is the first layout that we are going to create using nested rows. And once again, this is one of the grid layout that is coming from our blog post. If you visit the blog post that we are going to link in the video description, you will find a lot more design layouts that you can use for any kind of website that you are building. All right, so let's try to recreate this grid layout. So let me first get rid of this complete row here so that we can see the first row and then we will duplicate it anyway. So let me just get rid of this one. So let's start by adding our section and we are going to use a three column layout. So first we are going to add all the elements that we need and then we will take care of styling, padding and all the other things. In order to speed up the process, I'm also going to use the copy attribute option in order to copy paste the styling as well as the text from our sample grid. So let's start with column number one and we are going to start by adding heading here. And I'm just going to right click on my heading here and then just click on copy attribute and then go to paste attribute and paste all heading. So this is going to paste my heading text as well as the style. So let me click on this and boom, we now have the exact text here. So we go ahead and add another module, add a heading again. And again, we are going to copy the attributes from this heading and then paste it here. And boom, we now have the second heading here. All right, so now we need to add a background image to this column. So we click on our section and here is our row and here is our first column. Let's click on this and we go to background. We click on background image and then add an image from our media library. Here's the one. Let's click on upload an image and we have our image here. Now let's move on to the next column. Here we have a nested structure on the top as well as at the bottom. So first we have this background image and on top of it, we have this two column layout and let's go ahead and add our background image for this column. So we click on this, we go to background and then we'll add our image. So we are going to choose this image from here. And this is how it's going to look. And first we are going to add our divider, which is going to give this gap here. So I'm just going to add it here. And again, we are going to copy the attribute here. And then click on our module. And then we will paste attribute. So this is how it's going to create a gap here. And let's go ahead and add our nested row here in order to create this icon. So let's click on this. We add a new row. We will choose two column layout. And for the second one, we are going to add an icon. All right, let's go ahead and copy the attribute for this icon. And we will paste it here. And then just change the icon. Like this. And now we just need to move it on top of our divider module. So let me just open this column here and we're just going to drag our row on top of our divider like this. So now we have our divider below our nested row here. And after this divider, we are again going to add a nested row to create this structure here. 
So we click on this plus icon here and we click on new row. And then again, we are going to choose a two column layout. And on the left one, we will add a heading. So let's start with the heading first. Then we have a text below this. So let's click on text. And then we have a button. Now this one looks all broken. So let's just go ahead and fix it. So we are going to copy the attributes from here. And let's paste it on our first heading. And then we do the same for this text. Copy attribute and paste it here. And let's do the same for this button. Let's copy attribute and paste it here. Now this one looks much better. And to give it a final touch, we are going to add a background color as well. So we are going to add white color. So this is how it's going to look. So now we are done with our second column. And now instead of recreating the column again, we're simply going to duplicate this. So we go to our row, then we will delete our third column and we will duplicate the second one. Now we have the structure ready. Now let's go ahead and give some touch ups here so that we can have a proper gaps and maybe some border radius as well. So let's go ahead and play around with that. So we click on our first column here and we go to design and in spacing we are going to add padding. So I'm going to use our dynamic content here to add our design variables. So let's click on this. And we are going to link it for bottom as well. Same we are going to do for left and right. Like this. We now have a little bit gap all around this. Same we click on this. And we go to design. We go to spacing. And for the padding we are again going to use our global variables. Let's use this unit here. Same goes for this one as well. Now it looks much better and we simply need to copy the attributes for this row and paste it here to add the padding here as well. All right, now this one looks much better and maybe we can go ahead and add some border radius as well. So let's come back here on the first column. We go to design, we click on border. Then we are going to add 10 pixel border radius. Same we are going to use for column number two. We go to border and then click on 10 pixel for our border radius. Same goes for the third one. So now we have just recreated our row. So we can get rid of our reference structure. Let's click on delete. And now let's go ahead and duplicate this row. And we are going to delete our first column. So we click on this row, get rid of first column and maybe duplicate any of these column here. And now we have the complete product grid. And finally, let's go ahead and test it on different devices. So we click on tablet from our breakpoints. This is how it's going to look. And let's click on mobile. And this is how it's going to look for the mobile devices. And here we have a scope of improvement. So in order to fix this, we simply need to click on this column and we go to design. And for the width, we are going to select 50% and same for the second column, we go to design. Let me scroll down a little bit. And for sizing, we choose 50% for this one as well. So this one is fixed. And we just need to repeat the same for rest of these columns. So now we, we will have a complete responsive layout. So let's come back to desktop. And this is how our final grid looks. So this is how we can use nested rows to create a grid layout like this. 
So once again, this is just one example of creating grid layout using nested rows. Make sure you check out our blog post that we are going to link in the description below to check out more example of these kind of grid layouts and see which one suits your website design. Now ready to master your grids? Here is the insider scoop. Make sure you kick things off by leaning into nested rows. They are your playground for building layered creative designs. Next, make sure you nail responsiveness with canvas scaling and customizable breakpoints. Make sure you preview your grid across devices right in the visual builder. Make sure you use module groups to style repeating elements in a flash and lock in consistency with design variables for colors, fonts and everything else. Feeling adventurous? Make sure you play with advanced units like REM or calc function for spacing that adopts like a dream. And these tips will have your grids stealing the show. Can't wait to get your hands on these layouts? We have got you covered. Make sure you check out the link in the video description to download all the grid layouts that we have created. Pop them into your DV library and import them into your pages and boom! instant design brilliance. So here you have it, some amazing grid layouts to ignite your imagination with DV5 nested rows. From symmetrical features to interactive galleries, these designs are your launch pair to epic websites. So ready to roll? Make sure you grab the DV5 public alpha today and start experimenting with nested rows in your next project. But just a heads up, DV5 is perfect for new sites not convergence yet. So go ahead and download your free layouts from the blog post link below and let's see your grid geniusness in action. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.